Hi, good evening everybody uh, to uh, day 14 of the uh, Shore Hope Church daily broadcast uh, during the uh, Corona crisis and uh, good to be with you again this evening. Um, we're looking to God for his protection and uh, we're enjoying knowing what it is to live in peace when there seems to be no peace. That's what the Bible promises and that's uh, that's our experience and if it's not yours today then then I pray that you will be um, again we're going to look into God's Word and just see from the Psalms uh, something that will I trust bless you and encourage you um, first of all um, we need to continue to pray for Stephen uh, Lansdowne from from uh, originally from Rill who's living in Wrexham uh, the report this evening is he has um, had to have uh, a drain on his lungs and um, it seems to be uh, there was a better report from last night um, as to his condition um, but he's obviously been extremely poorly and is fighting for his life um, in Wrexham Hospital uh, with COVID-19 so we remember to pray for Stephen and the family uh, Dr Lansden and in Rill and uh, pray God's full healing and blessing on them and on Stephen. Um, some better news for Marjorie. Um, Marjorie, you may re recall, uh, was taken into hospital, I believe, on Friday. And um, actually, the, her GP was suspicious that it could have been cancer uh, that was giving her the problems that she was experiencing. And so there were some grave concerns for her. Um, and... Um, it turns out she had an operation on Monday and they found it was a strangulated hernia which has now been resolved and uh, which is a huge relief and a real comfort to her and, and her son and family so uh, we thank God for that and she's she's making a good recovery and they're expecting that she'll be home by the end of the week. Um, of course, they're very desperate to get the beds for what's coming. So um, we can give thanks to God for Marjorie today. It was her birthday yesterday. Missed it. But it was her birthday yesterday. Um, I better not say how old. Uh, that wouldn't be that wouldn't be appropriate. But um, so many years young. Um, she's in her mid-80s, we'll say that, shall we? And uh, as sprightly as she is and does so, so well, um, it's just good to hear that she's had some good news uh, this week and that she will be obviously now so much better now that they've been able to resolve the problem. So uh, please remember Marjorie in your prayers and when she gets home no doubt we'll be able to make some contact with her probably over the phone at least uh, to encourage her. So that's good isn't it? Now yesterday I shared with you didn't I Psalm, Psalm 4 and you know what it's like when you when you're reading God's word, and suddenly the th the thought crossed my mind as I'm giving <laughs> my broadcast. Uh, David, he's talking about the security that he knew in God, and it, the thought crossed my mind: where was he? <laughs> where was he when he was being so confident in God and so confident about the security that he had in God? Where was he? So I've done a little bit of digging today. And sure enough, Psalm 3, which is what we're going to read in a moment, and Psalm 4 are actually written at the same time when David was fleeing from Jerusalem because his son Absalom oh, had done the dirty on him and actually was being proclaimed king in Jerusalem and David had to flee for his life with uh, those who stood by him. You'll find the account in uh, 2 Samuel chapter 15 and uh, verse 13 says the messenger came and told David the hearts of the men of Israel are with Absalom then David said to all his officials who were with him in Jerusalem come we must flee or none of us will escape from Absalom we must leave immediately or he will move quickly to overtake us and bring ruin upon us and put the city to the sword so that is when David wrote Psalm 3 and Psalm 4. Psalm 4 we looked at last night. As you read in 2 Samuel 15, you'll find that they fled the city and, and as they, they crossed the uh, Kidron, um, they were in tears. I mean, distraught, absolutely feeling the feelings of 
let down, the feelings of being stabbed in the back, the feelings of being being used. I mean, you just list on and on. And he was in tears. It says, weeping as they leave Jerusalem. Um, and so it's in that context, not um, in a safe and secure place, but in a very, very insecure place, not knowing where they're going to sleep. Is it going to be in a hole in the ground? Is it going to be in a cave under a tree or in a bush? It It, it could have been anywhere. And there was no prospect of safety at all but his security was in God so let's read Psalm uh, 3 uh, as I say last yesterday was Psalm 4 and today is Psalm 3 both written at the same time in David's um, escape from Jerusalem so he says oh Lord how many are my foes how many rise up against me many are saying of me God will not deliver him Sila. that's how it was that the whole of jerusalem it seemed to david had turned against him when the cries years ago were you know saul has slain his thousands david is tens of thousands it, it, he was the hero and now because of absalom's uh duplicity uh, david, uh absalom had had set a, a whole thing in process to to win the hearts and minds it, it says of the people and and he'd been successful and now David's mind was telling the whole city is against you but then he says verse 3 but you are a shield around me O Lord you bestow glory on me and lift up my head and that thought came to me today Many people, quite likely, are needing their heads lifted today. And it's not a case of, uh, you know, keep your chin up. Mm, yeah, very good. Well done. Um, it's a case of, Lord, I'm needing you to lift up my head. If I keep my chin up, it's soon going to droop. So David says, to the Lord I cried aloud, and he answers me from his holy hill. Sila, think of that so i can try and keep my chin up i can try and be chipper yeah i can I, 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 I get nowhere it's only when i cry to the lord and ask him to lift up my head you do it today you've tried keeping your chin up you've tried being chipper you've tried to yeah you've tried i've tried we all try but actually what we need to do is ask the lord to lift up our head he is the one who covers us in his glory and is the lifter of our heads the news has not been good today a sudden spike in the number of deaths um, in the UK um, will set people's hearts a fear again and we've been dealing with this night after night and I will continue to talk about it in the coming weeks and months no doubt and when the news starts to just bear, bury itself and, 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 and burrow itself into your thinking and the, the, the worry and the fear start, uh, good advice, uh, a little encouragement to you. D turn off the news. Turn off the news and go into the Word instead. Go into the Psalms. Uh, uh, Bill Johnson calls them the watering holes. Go to those Psalms that God has spoken to you in the past from and uh, let it be a watering hole for you uh, this is one isn't it wonderful you cry to the lord he will lift your head he will give you his he will he will protect you surround you he, he will be a shield around you yes bestow glory on you and lift up your head okay Verse 5, I lie down and sleep. Oh, come on, David, what's this about sleep? Well, yeah, you imagine he's leaving Jerusalem. He's in a hurry. He's fleeing for his life. He doesn't know whether it's a tree, whether it's a hole, whether it's a cave. He doesn't know where he's going to do it. But what he does say is this, I will lie down and sleep tonight. And by the way, I will awake again tomorrow. <laughs> Read it properly now. I lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. It's good tonight. Some of you uh, reported in from last night's uh, um, broadcast. 
that uh, really blessed them just before you went to bed and you you, you slept. <laughs> Good. So tonight is another night. We're going to go to bed and sleep. We're not going to do a, a a a lawnmower impression in the bed. No, we're going to go to go to lie down and sleep. And good news, we're going to wake up in the morning. <laughs> That's good. Why? Because the Lord is going to sustain you. Yeah, and you will not fear. David says, I will not fear the tens of thousands drawn up against me on every side. And then he cries to the Lord to deal with his enemies. Um, then at the end, verse 8, from the Lord comes deliverance. May your blessing be on your people. The Lord's blessing be upon you today and upon me and upon your house and my house and as we have anointed our door frames and as we are standing on psalm 91 no plague shall come near my dwelling uh, declare it pray it, believe it stand on it and uh, let's see the deliverance of our god because david says um, the lord will be the deliverer of his people um, i pray that's an encouragement to you and um, now before i finish I must say a big, big thank you to all those who were involved in the food chair yesterday. I understand from Pete and Kath that actually 40 families were fed yesterday with food parcels from Shore Hope Church. How good is that? Thank you to all those who were involved in the packing of the boxes uh, and, and all those who went out delivering. I understand there was a, a considerable number of deliveries made. Um, in fact, most of the families had the food delivered to them. So thank you so much. How good is that? The people who had who thought just a few months ago that church was totally irrelevant and uh, had no con no interest suddenly find that the the church, the body of Christ, you, the people, not the building, the people, are actually bringing uh, emergency foodstuffs to families who are desperate and where they thought. God didn't care. Now they're finding out that actually God does love you. God, God does love them. And that is so, so precious today. So thank you so much for all of you who were involved in that. We give God all the praise and the glory that's due his name. Uh, Peter will share on Sunday as part of the service. Um, something of what's happening as well with that with regards to the finance it's miraculous i'll say no more <laughs> i won't steal his thunder i'll let him tell you on sunday but it is truly wonderful what's happening and uh, we are got, we are so blessed in, in what god has done i'm talking with my hands now and knock my tripod there you go um so i'll stop talking with my hands it's so good and uh, you'll uh, you'll enjoy on sunday look forward to hearing that um, about what God has done okay so that's the end of uh, this little broadcast tonight let's just pray shall we Heavenly Father we thank you for your word we thank you Lord that we can again tonight proclaim that I will lie down and sleep and I will awake tomorrow because it's you that sustains me Lord when we feel that everything is against us when our heads would droop and uh, our chin goes down because of the news and because of the the fear that's coming on the people lord i pray that you will indeed um, surround us and protect us and cover us in your glory and be the lifter of our heads that uh, if we try and lift our own chins and keep them high they soon droop but when you lift up our heads we we look to you and and not ourselves um, you are our god we don't look after number one because you are the number one and we give you praise for that tonight i pray for stephen there in the hospital in wrexham lord we pray for that healing anointing to come on him right now in jesus name send your word lord tonight and heal him you are the great physician who heals the sick and we pray that he will come out of that hospital every wit hole from the top of his head to the soles of his feet let him have a testimony of the love and power of God and his healing grace upon him from tonight we pray in Jesus name we thank you for what we've heard about Marjorie Lord we pray you'll be with her in the hospital and encourage her heart too as she will have had good news today about what's happened with the operation and uh, Lord we pray that you she will be so encouraged when she comes home at the weekend 
and for all those who are suffering and we pray Lord oh Lord in your mercy reach out that many will come to know you through this dreadful time because you are the God who cares you are the God who loves with an everlasting love we look to you tonight we will lie down and sleep without fear and we will awake in the morning because you sustain us in jesus name i pray amen good night god bless you